Uh, thank you so much, uh, Simon. I've got uh, Jonathan Trott here with me again because Neil Johnson's got uh, some time of the batting coach. He's got, he's got to talk to the batters because Afghanistan have a fair bit to chase today, 183 to chase. Uh, Jonathan, your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, the Pakistan players obviously played pretty well as well, but it's slightly different pitch, I think, to what we saw yesterday. Uh, the balls seem to be skidding on a little bit more, but um, fair play, they played pretty well, and we're going to have to play well uh, to chase these down. Well, no, less than 24 hours have passed since that uh, win yesterday and the series, uh, uh, you know, going, going Afghanistan's way before one match uh, was still left in the series. So just your thoughts, what is the mood like in the camp? You know, you've got the series in the bag, mm -hmm. two to nothing, coming into the final game. How difficult was it to keep the focus going, coming into this third match? I don't think you, you need to remind them of the uh, competition or the rivalry between the two countries. So there's always that in the back of the mind. So sometimes actually just, you know, being a little bit more relaxed and, and uh, not easing yourself into the game, but, but you know, not getting overworked. Uh, can sometimes benefit you. So uh, we're going to have to play really well. Uh, we certainly have the players inside that change and we're capable of knocking these runs off. So let's, let's hopefully they can uh, come up with the goods and uh, get, a, get us another victory 3-0. Just a quick thought on looking to chase once again. You know, a couple of matches you've had to chase and you've done that successfully. Today, Rashid Khan winning the toss and electing to bowl first. So again, backing your batters uh, in the chase, what's, what's uh, the thought process behind that? Well, I, th I think when I first came into the job, there was always um, the, the thought that uh, we, Afghanistan always wanted to bat first and then hand the ball over to the, 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 to the bowlers and, and to win us a game. I think if we want to be a successful side and compete all around the world, we need to be able to do both, uh, chase and set. So um, it's always good to be able to see if we can chase these type of targets tonight and how we go about it, you know, for the future. Um, so, it's in the, so it's exciting run chase. Yesterday, chasing that 131, it looked like a very responsible, conscious effort by the mm. Afghanistan batters, the way they went about their mm. task. Mm. So what's been the, uh, the input that's come through from the coaching staff that's led to this kind of uh, systematic approach in chasing targets? Well, I, I think it's a case of, you know, playing your own natural game, but taking responsibility for the side and, and making sure you're there and hitting the winning runs, and, or trying to be, uh, but or getting the team into the position to win games. And, and so those are the, uh, the, the, the thought behind batting. Obviously, uh, with bowling, it's, it's, it's on these types of wickets, you know, you just got to hit your lens and, and hopefully the, the, the batsman uh, makes a mistake, I think, uh, which we did a pretty good job today. Um, so hopefully with the bat, uh, we, can, we can come up trumps. Uh, go well today. Thanks for speaking with us, Jonathan. Thank you very much.